right from the pages of the book, Fun Family, 1100 Things to Do with Your Kids on Long Island and Beyond, here's another exciting activity. I'm Linda Reed Bryce and I'm here at the Waterfront Center with my family and instructor John. My book is has 1100 things to do on Long Island. 450 of them are free and this is one of the things in my book which obviously isn't free but it's a fairly economic plan if you want to learn how to sail. We tend to get into a little bit of a rut and do the same things over and over again mostly because we don't even have time to look for new things to do between work and family and everything else, all of our responsibilities. Wow, did you see the outer wire? The little yeah, piece of yarn yeah, yeah, yeah. blowing? Yeah. That's yep. what I'm using to tell where the wind is coming from. Uh, I normally teach on a sonar, which is a one design racing boat, but it's designed for training students who have never sailed a boat before. Everything is done by hand. There are no mechanical advantages, no engine, nothing. But today we went out because we were a larger group on a larger 30-foot cruising sailboat. Oh, you have to know how trickier. far away to turn oh, the boat yeah, into yeah. the wind, so it loses all its forward momentum <laughs> going into the wind. First thing I teach people is you can't steer the boat straight into the wind or the sails are going to be completely loose. So uh, regardless of what size boat you're on, you need to know that you can only sail within 30 degrees of the wind on one side of the boat or another or anything further off that, the boat goes nice and fast. I want to see how good a straight line you can hold, first of all. Get us the shore. Look way in the yeah. distance. Can you see that little sailboat in the trees way out there, or are you too short? Steering the boat, whether it be with a wheel-steered boat like we were on today, or the sonars, which have tillers, is the ability to keep the uh, tiller of the wheel moving slightly to compensate for the boat's natural tendency to turn itself up into the wind. If you just hold your hand steady on the wheel or the tiller, the boat will automatically start to turn, and that most people can't get used to that. Uh, unlike a car, where you would just hold a nice straight line all day without ever moving the wheel, and the boat tends to turn itself. It's much harder than it looks, and the fact that um, he can't just turn his steering wheel to go to the next direction. You have to like tack it and like pull the ropes in different directions, and like so many ropes to interact with the others. So it's much harder than it looks, definitely. Out of the boat, and it's probably stuck. It's not spinning. It's so much fun to be able to do things together, and and, and in the sense where you're all contributing to the whole, to the purpose and to the fun of the whole trip. So for example, we're all contributing to navigating the boat and moving the sails around and, and, and that kind of thing. It really is truly a great experience to do it together. It's the one thing that really sticks out in my mind is the difference between tacking and jibing and how to do both. Tacking is when you're navigating up, upwind and then jibing is when you're navigating downwind. Yeah, uh, but that doesn't look too good. Get it out, get the tangle out. You see the way it's wrapped around? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't have it all. Now, one more turn. And we learned how to tie some knots and how to hoist sails, and we learned what a jit was. <laughs> well, I think that when you take, um, learn anything with your family, it becomes a great family adventure, and it's something that your children will always remember. This particular place, I think, is very interesting because it's a not for profit and they're able to offer a lot here. Well, pull it back. Oh. Pull the handle back. Pull it all the way back on, and push Bryce. down. Hard. You can do it. It is a, a team effort. The sailing can be done solo, but I think it's more of a team sport than it is a solo sport myself. It's so peaceful and tranquil not to have to listen to the sound of an engine and the smell of an engine burning fuel. I mean, I made a comment to everybody out there that they found astonishing about how voices carry over the water when you have no other ambient sounds. When there's no other sounds, your voice can carry for miles over open water. My objective is to get people to fall in love with sailing who've never sailed before like I did the very first time I started 36 years ago. I think if you find that you're hooked by the sensation of the boat being driven by the wind and nothing else, you're hooked for life and you're never going to want to give it up. I would definitely recommend coming back here to the Waterfront Center because I just think it's a fantastic organization offering a lot to families.